All right, I'd like to call this uh, meeting of the Murfreesboro Parks and Recreation Commission uh, to order. And we'll start out with the prayer and pledge, and Rick Lalance is going to lead us. All right, if you'll bow with me. Thanks, Rick. Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for all the blessings in our lives. Lord, we hope that you'll be here with us today and the decisions that we make and the words that we use. And um, Lord, we just pray for our city, all of us here, all of us that serve, and uh, the staff, and uh, all the citizens. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, Rick. Everybody should have received their packet earlier in the week. Uh, the minutes from our December meeting were contained in that packet. This time we'll entertain any necessary changes. If there are none, a motion for approval. I move approval of the minutes. Thanks, Gloria. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Minutes are approved. Mitzi, thank you. <clears throat> Well, our first item under uh, new business is something that's going to be a lot of fun for all of us, and I'm going to turn it over to Nate and Angela, and y'all can take it from here. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, as you know, Mr. Bill Allen recently stepped down as the uh, Golf Commission Chair. Um, that means that he will be stepping down from the Parks and Recreation as the ex officio member. Uh, Mr. Don Turner will be joining us now uh, as our ex officio Golf um, Commission member, and we're very excited to have you. Look forward to that. You've got some big shoes to fill. Uh, Mr. Allen's been doing this for almost a decade now, I believe. So uh, we just wanted to uh, tell you thank you on behalf of all the staff uh, for all you've done for us uh, and, and all that you help us do uh, all the time. We really appreciate it, your guidance and all you've done for this commission. So on behalf of the staff, we just want to say thank you. We've got a certificate of appreciation that Angela has, uh, and she's going to read it, and then uh, we'd like to give that to you. This is a certificate of dedicated service, and it's hereby presented to Mr. Bill Allen in recognition of valuable contributions to the Parks and Recreation Commission. Your commitment to public service makes our community a better place for all. Davis here. You gonna get a picture, Jim? Yeah. We're gonna come over here. Bill, I've got the great honor of uh, bestowing on you a proclamation from the Quilts of Valor Foundation. And I'm going to read it. William Polk Allen, Jr., United States Navy, 1943 to 1948. The Quilts of Valor Foundation wishes to recognize you for your service to our nation. We consider it a privilege to honor you. Though we may never know the extent of your sacrifice and service to protect and defend the United States of America as an expression of gratitude, we award you this quilt of valor. Tammany McDaniel, Executive Director, and Janice Lewis, Foundation Representative. I believe she has something for you, my friend. I get it. <laughs> July. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you need that today, Bill. Perfect time for that. Thank you. 
That's neat. This would have come in handy last night when it was about 18 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Here's a certificate. Gee, thank you very much. No, thank you, Bill. We appreciate your service. And, and Bill, I, I personally want to uh, extend a thank you from the city of Murfreesboro for all you've done, not just for your community and not just for your city, but your entire state and your country. You've been such a role model for so many. And uh, we appreciate your service, the dedication you've had to our city, and uh, look forward to many more years of service uh, coming from you. But, uh, but, but we can't say thank you enough for what you've done so far. So thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank appreciate you. that. Mr. Allen, if you'd like to say anything, feel free to. Can I say something? Speak, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> this is a great day. I appreciate all of these honors very, very much, more than any of you would ever know. But you know, as I, I look back, Murfreesboro has offered me so much. <laughs> back, it offered employment to my father where he could support his family and raised me. It offered me my education, all that I have. It offered me my wife, 63 years. It offered me employment where I could maintain and support my family. Those are things that I don't know how you put a value on, but they mean so much to me, and Murfreesboro offered every one of them to me. I'm indebted to Murfreesboro I appreciate this, but the thank you goes to the city of Murfreesboro. Thank you so much. And in the words of Bob Hope, as he always signed off, thanks for the memory. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bill, you know when our meetings are, we'd love to have you join us for lunch every Every month. Don, welcome. We're thrilled to have you. Thank you. All right, we'll move now to uh, the introduction of three new uh, department employees. And Nate, I believe you're going to make those introductions. Yeah, well, I'm going to pass it off, but we're always excited to uh, introduce to you new employees, people who've joined our team. Uh, and uh, both Thomas and Rachel are going to do that. We'll start off with uh, Rachel and her new uh, employees. I have uh, two that I want to introduce to you that I'm really excited. Um, I'm going to start with Kristen Hopkins. If you want to come on up, Kristen. She was hired in November and um, has hit the ground running. She is our natural resources coordinator. So she's um, the facility coordinator of the wilderness station, the trails, the backcountry trails, um, the mountain bike trails. She'll be on uh, our greenway, all of our natural areas and wetlands. So she has got her plate full and she um, has stepped right up to it and is just taken it and, and ran with it. So um, I appreciate her all of her hard work in just these few short months. Um, this is Kristen Hopkins. Thank you. Welcome, Kristen. Um, and then, even newer to the full-time staff is Miss Susan Hicks, if you want to come on up. She um, is with our Cultural Arts Department. She is running Perform Murfreesboro in the Washington Theater at Patterson, um, even though she was just hired. Um, she has been with us for quite a few years as a part-time assistant program coordinator and has really grown um, our children's theater and has done a fabulous job. Um, it's a well-deserved de position for her and we look forward to um, what she can do in, in her full-time status. So this is Susan Hicks. As most of you are aware, in the fall, the City of Murfreesboro and uh, Parks and Recreation Department assume the uh, uh, overseeing of the St. Clair Senior Center. Uh, and I was fortunate enough to be a part of the team that kind of was able to go in there and make some positive changes and create a better environment, uh, more opportunities for our seniors. And I was really excited about that. One piece that we knew was critical uh, was falling in line with the rest of our facilities was to hire the right superintendent. Uh, and we were very adamant about Nate and myself and Rachel 
uh, choosing the right candidate for that. We had a lot of really good candidates to choose from. Uh, we ran it in-house. Uh, but the individual that we chose was Mark Owens. Mark is a graduate of MTSU. Uh, he worked for a long time with campus recreation, the intramural programs there. Uh, he has in recently been uh, working as a case manager and a, a, a supervisor uh, for a uh, facility that provides uh, care for adults with disabilities. Uh, and Mark has also worked part-time with the Recreation Department as a operations coordinator for us. Uh, Mark's <clears throat> compassion for mankind and uh, humanity uh, and his, his, you know, he has a big heart, but he's very strong. And w I think we all know if you spent much time at the Senior Center, you need a very strong leader there. So Mark, I'm proud to announce that Mark has come and joined us on this team, and he's doing a fantastic job. I ask him to say a few words. If I ever run for politics, that's my <laughs> campaign manager right <laughs> um, It's been a wonderful experience. I started on January 28th. Um, the participants are welcoming. They have a lot of great ideas, and we're just incorporating what they want to do with what we want to do, what's best for St. Clair. Uh, a lot of positive responses. I had my first meet and greet this past Friday. Probably had about 30 questions. Um, <laughs> They were satisfied with all the answers or the answers that I would get for them. You know, we got a lot of changes going on in St. Clair for the positive, and I just think so long as we keep going along that line, they'll be happy and satisfied. Thank you. Welcome, Mark. Thank you. Mark, I'll, I'll, I'll give you fair warning. If, uh, if the older gentlemen back there around the pool tables invite you to play pool with them, respectfully decline. <laughs> I already <laughs> have. I've watched them. And, and thanks to you and Thomas both for the phenomenal job you've done of, of not only um, making the uh, center, I think, more, more receptive, but uh, a, a more fun place because I'm hearing very many positive comments about the job you guys are doing out there. So thank you very much. Welcome to all you guys. Mm -hmm. Item number three is a consideration for approval of pre-care and post-care for outdoor Murfreesboro summer camps. And I believe Haley Moss is going to go over that with us. Hello, everyone. Welcome, Haley. <coughs> so, yes, I would like you guys to consider approving pre-care and post-care for our summer camps this year. The camps run nine to four. So in years past, that's been slightly inconvenient for a lot of the working parents. It would really benefit them to be able to drop their kids off a little bit earlier and maybe potentially pick them up a little bit later as well. And so we were hoping starting this year to offer um, pre-care and post-care. They could drop them off at 8 a.m., pick them up as late as 5 p.m., and we would you know, just kind of watch their kids during that time, and we would charge $50 for this just because our staff are gonna need to be coming in earlier. That's generally when we'd be setting up for camp. Um, and also just for the fact that we'll be kind of doing some child care there. But I think this will be a really positive move. The people who've heard that we might do it have already been super excited, receptive. We've had a lot of interest. So I think it would really benefit a lot of our working parents if we could start doing this. So again, it's um, for our four different summer camps and then just letting them come in a little bit earlier and leave a little bit later and charging them a small fee. Okay. Anybody have any questions on this for Haley? There are no many motion for proof. I'll make that motion, Mr. Chairman. Thanks, Eddie. Is there a second? Second. And we have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? It is approved. I believe you have the next one, too, Haley. Yes. Approval for a nature rangers camp. Yes, I don't know if any of you guys remember here. I was actually a, here a few couple months ago asking approval for my winter science camp for homeschoolers. Um, and we had that in February, and it was a huge success. So I'd kind of like to do a similar camp for four and five-year-olds. Um, we have a long-running program called Wild Things that happens weekly. I think Angela Jackson actually started that years ago, and it's one of our most popular programs for kids that aren't old enough to go to school, and I think it'd be really cool to offer them a camp where kids four and five years old could come get a little bit of that camp school experience, you know, before they're actually starting to go to school. So I'd like to do that May 20th through 24th. It would be 9 to 11.30 each day of the week, and it'd be a, a structured program. The parents would have to stay with the kids, but it'd just be painting you know, a story, outside time, craft, books, um, snack time, and that kind of stuff. And I've already had a lot of interest in that from the Wild Things parents. So 
I would like to seek approval for that and would be charging $50 for that week at camp. Great. Any questions regarding this camp? Or no, I need a motion for approval. If there are no uh, other questions, I'll uh, make a motion for approval and suggest you bring Eddie in for one of the days. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and Ranger Rick would like Ranger <laughs> Rick. I knew that was coming. The wild <laughs> thing. <laughs> you set up for that one, the man. wild thing and Ranger Rick. What a pair. <laughs> We'd love to have you guys, especially if you don't charge. <laughs> right. I'll be dropping Rick off early. <laughs> there is a motion. <laughs> is there a second? All right, we have a second. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Those sound like great plans. Thank Haley, thank you. Uh, next is uh, consideration for approval of the swim lane rental rates. Kyle Goss is here to go over that with us. Kyle, welcome. I'm here seeking to adjust our swim lane rental rates. Previously, we've rented out to a couple different swim teams during the summer at a flat rate of $4 for short course and $7 for long course. I'm wanting to push that to $8 an hour for short course and $16 an hour for long course. If our rentals stayed the same, we'd make about an additional $10,000 a year doing that. Um, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them for you. Any questions for Kyle? Uh, just oh, go, go ahead, Charlie. I was, it looks like you're pretty much doubling the, or more than doubling the rate, and, and these are, the biggest impact will be on swim clubs? Yes, that'd be the only impact. What, have you um, let them know about that? What would be that, I've that had, is a pretty big. It is a, a pretty sizable spike. I've had a conversation with one of the teams that does the majority of the renting, and they verbally committed to keep coming. It's lower than other areas. Yeah. Other areas. Is it? It's about three hours lower than Since 1987. <laughs> Sounds really low. Just a little past. Hey. Wow. <laughs> Sounds really low, but you know, I know that those swim clubs are on shoestring budgets, and you know. It definitely be cheaper. They'll be saving money by being able to come to us as opposed to any issue. So it's about four dollars and I think more than twelve dollars a month. Good question, Charlie. Do you have one, Rick, or was it? That, that was your question. Thing. Okay. Yep. Any other questions? Our no, we need a motion for approval. I move so approve. Second. We have motion. Second. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? It's approved. Kyle, thank you. Thank you. Thomas, you've got the next two. You can just go ahead and cover them, and we'll vote on both of them at the same time. We've got approval for the use agreements with our partner organizations. As and you know, the every year we partner with uh, the Mercerville Baseball Association, the Mercerville Little League. Uh, the Stones River Kiwanis Softball Club, Mercerville Lacrosse League, Middle Tennessee Disc Golf Association, Mercerville Football Club, and the Mercerville Soccer Club, all to provide recreational sports uh, as well as competitive sports throughout the city of Mercerville. These are important agreements. We've uh, implemented a player use fee this year, which is new, so the agreements do have a little bit of different verbiage than years past. Uh, but essentially, they're the same agreements. In addition to the local leagues for recreation and competitive sport, we also have agreements with Central Magnet School uh, and Providence Christian School for the use of our facilities as well. Uh, we seek a approval for these agreements. They've been reviewed with all the organizations. Absolutely. Any questions? Any a motion for approval? So moved. have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, sir. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? It is approved. And now the Industrial Adult Volleyball League. So we've been approached by uh, several organizations that would like to offer an industrial or a uh, employee volleyball league. One State Farm is uh, one to name uh, prominently. And we've done this in the past with softball, but we didn't have the structure in place to offer it for volleyball. What we'll do is offer a 10-week season. Uh, it's basically $50 a player or $300 per team. Uh, and we put that back onto the users. Uh, while State Farm may be the only ones that have the teams at this time, we'll advertise it in the future going forward. And they're under the understanding that uh, this league will be open to the general public and, and other businesses that would like to participate will uh, have an opportunity to. Uh, but we need to have approval of a fee so we can charge each team uh, a $300 fee 
uh, to participate in the 10-week league. Okay. Any questions regarding this league? If there are none, we need a motion for approval. Move to approve. Thank you, Charlie. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Ricky. Any other discussion? <coughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? It is approved. Thank Thomas, you. thank you. Our fights with us today. He's going to give us an update on the buy one, get one free pass program. Bart, welcome. Mr. Chairman and uh, members of the commission, what I'd like to do today is give you a recap of our annual buy one, get one free that we hold uh, every year. We started the buy one, get one free on our monthly year passes December the 10th, 2018, and it ended on January the 6th, 2019. And in your package, you should have received a revenue report uh, about the passes. And uh, I know Patterson uh, went down a little bit. And after talking to Russell Smith, why theirs declined a little bit, we figured out that uh, we serve better coffee. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, seriously, we, we figured on they went down a little bit because it's probably the odd year of buying passes. You know, you buy a year, you get a year free. A lot of them probably got them last year, which skipped this year, and we'll come back next year and pick it back up. But at Sportcom, you can see um, we went from 192,000, almost 193,000, to 220, which is a, a dramatic jump, almost $30,000. So we're very excited about uh, what's going on. Uh, we figured New Year's resolutions brought in a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people are moving into the area, but uh, what we're offering, we feel like it's uh, very positive on the community and the uh, city of Murfreesboro. So uh, if you've got any questions about it, I'll be glad to try to answer them, but uh, got a lot going on, uh, adding new programs, uh, you know, every week it seems like. I know we had summer camp registration and our front desk staff uh, at Sportscom and Patterson did a great job of getting those people in. They were lined up at 8 a.m. and uh, and the revenues there have been very good to also. We think uh, probably the biggest reason we started taking credit cards, debit card, and that has been a huge success. And I was asking the staff what percentage they think paid, uh, paid all the fees with credit cards, and they were saying anywhere from 85 to 90 percent. So that, that was a big plus for our department, so in our revenue stream. So uh, we also started, uh, you know, March 1st on our military discounts for all uh, uh, current or retired military get a disc discount for the youth or the senior rate. So that's that's helped too. We've had a lot of positive comments on that. We're, we're glad to do it for our veterans and current military. So if you have any questions, that's the report I have. Thanks, Bart. Anybody have any questions for Bart regarding the report? Looks like another good year. Thank you. Thank you, Bart. Last, but certainly not least, Melinda Tate's going to give us the program and activity updates. Melinda, welcome. Good afternoon. Well, as usual, I have got a lot of things to tell you about. And what Bart mentioned, our summer camps, um, the registration began March 1st. This was the first year that we started doing online registration. So people didn't have to come to the facility to register. They could do it from their home. And... We've got a lot of camps planned. We've got several that have sold out already. Um, the Adventure Camps are sold out, Explorers Camp, Teen Summer Kayak Club, the Babysitter's Club has sold out. But we still have a lot left, and uh, registration is still open. They can go online from the website, or they can go to Patterson um, Sportscom or the office at Barfield Crescent Park to register. Another thing coming up at the Patterson Park Pool is the St. Patrick's Day Getaway. It's for kids ages 7 to 13, and you can pre-register. It's $5, $7 the day of the program. We've got an underwater Easter egg hunt at Patterson, and that is Saturday, April 13th. We've got a Happy Easter Children's Extravaganza, the 18th at Patterson Park. And I'm going to zip through these quickly because I have got a lot. A lot of this information can be found in our Rec Connection or online or on our Facebook pages. So I'm going to zip through these quickly. Um, we've got our citywide Easter egg hunt, and it's for kids and adults. I know uh, <laughs> Thomas <laughs> loves 
to watch the adults only time and have them scrambling to find eggs. It's, it's kind of funny. <laughs> he doesn't hide very many. <laughs> On uh, Saturday, April 13th, is the, adventure, the Borough Adventure Fest at the Walter Hill Recreation Area. $10 to pre-register, $20 the day of event, and there'll be kayaking and rock climbing. It's a, a fun family day. Guardians of the Greenway is something new that Kristen started, and um, this is an opportunity to help clean the Greenway. We've got lots of days set up, um, starting at different trailheads. We've got spring break programs, March 25th through 29th. We've got a spring break fun day, signs of spring scavenger hunt, animal encounters with the craft, uh, another scavenger hunt, nature play, and then at Patterson, we've got First Shot Skills Academy. And lots of wilderness station programs. And we've got lots of walks and runs planned, the Ultra Coffee Marathon, the Walk, Read, Write Half Marathon, and that's for kids. They can um, walk or run 13 miles, one mile at a time, they read 13 books, and then they write a little paragraph about each one. We've got stroller coasters every Thursday in March, April, and May from 9 to 10 at Kids Castle. We've got lots of hikes planned. If you're into hiking, contact the Wilderness Station. And something new this year, Yoga on the Island. This is at Gateway Island, March 9th, April 13th, May 11th. And then we'll have Tai Chi Wednesdays in April. And if you've never been to the, the Gateway Island, it is so, so beautiful, especially in the spring. Perform Murfreesboro. Um, the kids will be performing Winnie the Pooh Kids, March 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th. And I'm not sure if they're sold out yet. They're almost sold out. These tickets go fast. They're, they're hot tickets. Our athletics registration, we've got the um, Adult Recreational Co-Ed Volleyball League. Mondays begin, they began in March. The Youth Volleyball League registration begins in April. The other leagues are beginning, uh, the registration begins in April or May. This is our Adams Tennis Complex, the ATC Classic, that will be May 10th through 12th and uh, they're offering singles and doubles, so check that out if you're a tennis player. <laughs> and at the St. Clair Street Senior Center, we tried to narrow it down to just a few things because there are hundreds of things going on there, but um, coming up is um, Easy Home Repair with Murfreesboro Electric, and there's Decades Day and Senior Prom and the AARP Smart Driver course, and I know Few people that could probably stand to go to that. Okay, um, so all of these programs can be found at the in the Rec Connection program guide. They are at the facilities and around town. You can also download this off the uh, Parks and Rec page of the website, www.murfreesborotn.gov, and then click on the little Parks and Rec button or you can find all the information on Facebook. We've got 15 different Facebook pages, so we try to, to be social. Does anybody have any questions? Well, Linda, are you, are you um, on the cleanup days for the Greenway? Are you reaching out to some of those other groups? Are there some, some groups that are kind of geared that way? To, they're kind of automatically geared that way? Uh, any group that would be already sort of set up to, to maybe try to vol have volunteers that would come help and and yeah oh good I know we've used um, the uh, Tennessee achieves where the students have to volunteer, and they would usually call the Greenway at the last minute uh, to get in their volunteer hours the day before they're due, so. <laughs> Stones River Battlefield are involved with that as well, so. 
It, and it's a good time of year for a greenway cleanup because there are no leaves on the tree, so you can see the trash really well. A lot of stuff going on as usual. Oh, yeah. Mr. Chairman, if I could say last Friday we opened up our camps and you can see uh, we have a lot of camps over the course of the summer and we, this was our first year to have online registration um, and we did $21,000 worth of camp registrations the first day on just online. So um, we appreciate your support and all of the technology that's gone into that that really helps better serve the residents, Murfreesboro, and um, all of our camps. Our staff has done just a tremendous job, kind of new, innovative camps that really uh, fill all the needs. That's crazy. It seems like the more we add, the quicker they sell out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Melinda. Okay, thank you. That concludes our business today. I just, uh, Bill, I'd lead. Thank y'all. Bill, thank you again for everything you've done for our country and for our community. And Don, welcome. We're thrilled to have you. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. Is there any other business to come before the commission? <coughs> Being none, we stand adjourned. Okay.